Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use a webmail, a cPanel based webmail, a full tutorial which shows all these features. Uh, once you finish watching this video, you will be able to do all these uh, points. So let's say it will be first one, how to log into webmail and how to check remaining webmail space. Uh, this many people don't know this feature, it's so easy but still most of them don't know it. And how to check webmail how to change webmail default time to your country time uh, by default webmail server time will be different than your country time so you can change it once you log in you will be able to change it then you can set up a email forwarding to your personal email you can set autoresponders and there is an option to filter emails by keywords or block particular email ids uh, this option also available then uh, you need to set your display name uh, this is also important i have seen many people that don't set this name so it will be just a uh, email id will be displayed then create html signatures many people ask me this uh, how to set up a html signature to webmail so all these points i'll be teaching you so let's start with uh, the first point how to log into webmail uh, to log into webmail it will be your domain name slash webmail so our domain name is uh, this one techcybers.ae slash webmail so this will be the url the first step is type your email id which you are here username means email id techcybers.ae then password then login so this will be the home screen you will be seeing when you log into webmail uh, so the first step is, is done already the second one is how to check the remaining space which is here in the top right side you will see your consumer space and the available space currently this is 250 mb i created this email just to show you the demo so this is 250 mb is the full space and we consumed this much space uh, then let's go to change the default timing for that you need to go to settings login click open your email then go to settings then go to identities sorry go to preferences user interface then here is the time zone it, now it is set to auto which you have to change it so i'm located in dubai uh, i will be changing it to plus four so i change it to asia dubai and the time format also we can change it date format also we can change it so i changed it and we have to save it here then go to email and now we will change uh, how to forward incoming emails to your personal email to do that you have to go to webmail home in the top right side click webmail home then go to forwarders here we have to click add forwarder then to which email id we have to forward that we have to type it here email id so whatever comes to all inbox emails all incoming emails will go to a copy will go to here but the real emails will stay here in this email also so the next one is how to set autoresponders for that you can same if you, if you are in this window this is called webmail home home page view so go to auto autoresponders click add a autoresponder and from subject body so here this inter interval is somebody send you an email uh, right now and they send you one more email after two hours so it, if they get emails autoresponders 
continuously it will annoy them so let's put it for uh, 12 hours or 24 hours is better so that they will get uh, okay let's say 12 hours will be enough so during this time during 12 hours if they send multiple emails they will get one autoresponder only for the first email then till this time they will not get any response so from here you can type it it's a just a display name so this you can start either from immediately or from a custom date you can start it and you can stop it on a custom date so this will be better when you uh, set it you can set the end date also uh, change it to any day so let's say after one week create it so it started and it will start creating it now go back Uh, I will show you how to filter keywords or block particular email IDs. So for that we need to go to email filters. Then create a filter, new filter. So first we have to type filter name. Let's say if you don't like emails uh, contains a sales. So we can call it sales. Then here is the real rules are happening. So any email contains sales will discard the message or you can send it to different folder also currently i will put it for discard it's set already and next one is how to block a single email id if you don't like someone uh, you can create a filter so let's say filter name you can call it farooq so let's type his email id at gmail.com it's not there but i'm just typing it so discard this particular email id whoever it is it will discard completely it will not even come to your email so i created it go back from from here you can see current filters uh, you can edit it also after some time you can edit it so now you know how to filter emails now uh, second uh, seventh one is set to display name for that go to your email and go to right side top right side settings from here identities click your identities then display name by default whenever you get a web mail it will be clean like this there will not be any display name so i'll put a display name as a hello then com company name you can put here anything a full name uh, that's it then save it And then the last one very important for you is to create a HTML email signature uh, to do this first we should have one HTML email I will show you this is the email signature this is how it looks uh, clickable links uh, to a website to your social media page your website so this one you can put it there also so first you have to create it i guess you already know how to create it once you have it copy this code from here view page source and you copy it this is not required this is required only if you are going for a apple mail but now you need to copy only these html codes and go to your round cube go to settings identities take your email id then go for html signature you need to tick it then it will ask here you can either put it here but if you have a coding you have to select this coding source code then paste it there this is the code which we already have save it and yeah, now it's it's there already 
So you, you save this. Then you go to settings again, preferences, composing email. From here, you need to select this option, compose such email messages, always. Click it and save. Now let's try one test mail, how it works. Now I will compose email. See, automatically it will come. Then I will send one email to webgeekbaruk at gmail.com. Email test to check name display and signature. I copy it. So let's send this email and see how it works. Okay, so the email is here. Now it came with all the clickable links. And everything is there. So now this is what I said, display name. So whatever we type there, it will automatically come here. If we don't put it, it will just show the email ID only. So now you know all these features, how to use a webmail. If you have any questions, you can comment here. I will reply you. Any of your doubts, you can ask me. I also created how to set up this email to your Apple Mail. You can watch my another video and find it out. Thank you.